I may have done something drastic. In my defense, crimes have been taking place and we needed a drastic solution. If you've been watching my videos for some time, then you may or may not have noticed that I collect the little Squishville Squishmallows and I used to keep them on this adorable little display on one of my shelves in these cute little white houses. Slowly they would start to disappear from said houses and I would never be able to find them after that. And I would wonder where do these Squishmallow go? Until one day I caught my cat Pepper in the act with a Squishville in his mouth, caught red-handed. My very own son, my cat Pepper, was the one committing these heinous acts, grabbing them from my shelves, bringing them into the hallway, walking around with them in his mouth like a trophy. But like I said, I could not find these Squishmallows after he was done playing with them. They were disappearing into thin air and I had no idea where they were going, but one fateful day, I decided to check underneath the couches and did I find the crime scene of a century. All of the Squishville stolen from my office, stolen from their homes, were recovered and they were found underneath of the couch. I don't know why I didn't think to look there before. And I thought this was the end of it. I thought, surely I can just bring them back and they'll be fine, they'll be happy, they'll be safe. No. Even after going to the hospital and going through a lengthy recovery and returning to their homes, these Squishville were getting kidnapped over and over again. And then we found out there was a co-conspirator. My boyfriend Quack discovered Peach one day shoving an innocent Squishville underneath the couch. And we discovered it was a two-man operation. Pepper was the thief, Peach was the stasher, and that's how they were creating this crime scene, this stash of Squishville. Knowing the severity of these crimes, we had to go for a drastic solution. How can I prevent these Squishville from being kidnapped from their homes and families? How can I stop these heinous acts? I may or may not have bought a claw machine to put my Squishville inside of, that's what this is, so yeah. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may notice that my little Squishville displays that are usually filled with Squishmallows have been empty for a long time now. And that's just because, like I said, whenever I put them back, he just comes back and steals them again. And after a while, they're just all gone. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave them empty. I'm gonna let him have them. Make him think that I'm not onto him, you know? And then one day I will do a giant rescue mission. We'll get all of them back and then put them in their forever home in the claw machine that I spent way too much money on. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. It looks like a hefty boy, so let's get into it. I don't know if I can do this alone. We'll see. I'm gonna try to pull it out. This is way smaller than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I guess that's okay, right? That's probably for the better. Let's take this off. There we go. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. See, this is about as high as it is. It only goes like, not even to my actual waist. Oh, <laughs> I'm so excited. Let's take this off. I'm so excited. Are we ready? This is such an annoying sound. Oh my goodness. It's real. Oh my gosh, she's so much smaller than I thought. <laughs> it kind of works though. Like this is actually perfect for Squishville, I think. So I see that there's some protective film here. I thought I could give you a nice little satisfying pull. You know what I mean? I love pulling this stuff off. So satisfying. Now there's also some keys zip tied to this. Hello, where are the scissors? There we go. The official keys to the Squishmallow claw machine. <laughs> I see some more zip ties and stuff in here, so there's probably more work I'm gonna have to do. Um, but there's the cutest little instruction booklet, so let's figure this out. Oh, besties, this looks way more complicated than I thought. What does this mean? What is this? Okay, I'm a little sweaty from doing that, but here we have our claw machine. Frankly, much smaller than I was expecting, but again, I do think that's probably for the best. I'm gonna try to figure this out and then I'll catch you when this is actually working. Ho oh. oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this feels like so forbidden, like 
me touching the the crane, the claw in the claw machine. Now we just flick a raw. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> I got into the menu screen, so I just have to adjust a few settings in here. There's like a little screen on the thingy, and then we've, we're have in, okay? Ooh, it works. It actually works. Oh. Okay. This is crazy. Okay, I just put it on like free play mode. This is like if you're just testing it. So I can just play for, I don't have to put coins in. Knowing what I know now, claw machines are so rigged. Um, Yeah, you can literally adjust the settings of like literally everything in this claw machine. Like the strength of the grip, the speed, how many times, like the probability of somebody winning, you can adjust everything. So yeah, claw machines are definitely rigged. <laughs> so now we have to go get the squish fill to put in here. So we have to go on a bit of a journey. We're gonna go get the squish fill from under the couch. Are we ready? I'm bringing a shopping cart so we can have something to carry them. I don't know. Well, well, well. You can't leave me alone, huh? Oh, look at that. What's that, I wonder? I literally found two on the way here. Look at how disgusting they are. Look at that. What do you have to say for yourself, huh? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, let's see. We got one, two, three. Oh, there's definitely more over here. Yep, 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 yep. Sounds about right, looks about right. Sir? Sir? <laughs> I need to get like a broom or something to get these out from under here, so hold on. Okay, actually I just lifted up the couch. <laughs> They're already making it their jungle gym, but look at this! Look at this! This is your handiwork, the both of you. They literally don't care right now. They're so interested in this couch. <laughs> Let's go shopping. We also have another couch and I just know that there's more under here. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. There's a few under here too. Okay, we got four over here. One right here. We have um, one, two. Wait, since when did I have two burgers? Oh, <laughs> that's a cutie bean, okay. Um, so one, two more, and a bottle cap, cool. Uh, excuse me, sir, you think this is for you? Really? We have, oh. That was part of a headband that I had. Thanks for that, guys. And one, two more. Since a lot of the squish fill are just downright disgusting, covered in fur and dust and dirt, I'm gonna be putting all of them in a quick wash because I'm not putting those dirty things in my brand new beautiful claw machine. So they're getting a quick wash. Tide Pod, goodbye, Squishville. Hello? What is that? Oh, there's a towel in there. That's fine. That'll help, right? That'll help wash them. Say goodbye to the dirt that's on your bodies. I think they're gonna have a fantastic time in the washer. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because Now that everyone is nice and clean and has had a bath, we're gonna go ahead and put them in the claw machine. Are you ready? Step one, open the door. Step two, get a better angle for the camera because you didn't think about having to open the door. Step three, try to get the camera to focus on the blinding white light inside. It does not work, it's okay. Step four, load in the squishmallows. I kind of want to just dump them all in there, but I know I'm just going to accidentally put them in the chute. So let's just be meticulous about this, you know what I mean? 
Oh, they fit so perfectly. Okay, there's some of them that I'm not gonna put in here. I'm gonna keep my Scarlet. I'm gonna keep my Orin because these have families they can go with on my shelves, but we'll put in the last remaining ones. And there we go. Besties, are we ready for our first claw attempt of the night? I think I'm gonna go for this nice little deer right here. That looks absolutely perfect. Oh, we missed, we missed. Okay, we gotta try again, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna get the deer, I swear, I promise. This is it, this is the one. Oh yeah, N hey, wait a second. I thought I set this up to not be rigged. Hold on, my own claw machine can't be rigged. What the heck? <laughs> I put this thing on full grip, hello? Come on, we got this, there you go. That thing literally just dropped it. Okay, um, let's try the little purple cheetah. Let's try that one. Maybe, maybe it likes this one better. Okay, that did not work. Oh, but it kind of did though. Our prize winning, ah yes, beautiful, beautiful. I truly don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna give it a shot. Come on, no, that didn't, that didn't work. This thing is so rude, honestly so rude. Please! <laughs> I just noticed there's one of my hairs in here. I am so sorry. Yes! No! Okay, we, we set it up. We set it up. It's perfect. It's in the perfect spot. Come on. Come on! No! I'm starting to think that the first one was just a chance coincidence because it just like scooped it into the into the thingy, you know? You know what I'm saying? Yes. No. Oh my goodness. I give up. Was this a worthy investment? Was this a sound investment? Was this a good decision? I got one though. It was it was in the claw. I didn't even I didn't even look. Like I'll do it again. That's embarrassing. Anyways, hopefully I figure out how to actually make the prizes go in the claw shoot. That would be fantastic. I hope I figure that out in the settings one day. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This was so dumb, so silly. I'm hoping to get like some sort of riser or something for this so it's a little higher up off the ground. Right now it is very close to the floor. Very small, very teeny, very tiny. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give it a like on your way out. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.